Guys, they said Igbi cried only of Ife a river as only questions her pregnancy and also deny her krewa. <laughs> when I hear this news, I was just laughing. Seriously, I was just laughing. You know, a uh, few days ago, there was this rumor that uh, Cap uh, Igbi has come to tell Kabi and say that uh, she is expecting a baby. A lot of people have been saying that uh, maybe she wants to go and do surrogacy, you know, because they said uh, uh, her friend or her former friend, Laide, have told KBSC that even before KBSC, before Laide introduced Igbi to KBSC, while they were still friends, that Igbi have stopped seeing her period, you know that there is no how she will be expecting a baby now. That maybe she wants, she, she, she's up to something. She wants to do RNG baby and all of that. And a lot of people are saying that. How sure are we that some of these other lorries did not do RNG? And if KBSC will accept them, KBSC should be ready to accept Igbi's own because her own is not going to be different. So uh, now they say KBSC have told Igbi that she, he did not understand where that pregnancy is coming from because he, he cannot remember the last time they met as husband and wife. And right now, not only Igbio, we are hearing that KBSC is saying that there will be no krewa for this Oloris again until further notice. Maybe uh, he is doing it because of the fact that uh, he wants to see if he will be able to win Queen Naomi back again. Because Kwenomi have insisted that she is not returning back. There is no how she will come and coexist with this Oloris. And Iyanifa have told KBAC before now to stop this Krewa with the women. Because even as long as KBAC is doing the Krewa with them, that they will always influence KBAC's decision. They will always manipulate him. Because they are not who they think they are. You know? Even KBSC knows that they are all manipulators. KBSC have said it uh, on one of his uh, speech that women are not manip not only the, that they are manipulators, they are also witches. That is what KBSC said. And if you remember that statement by him, so now Igbi, who have been claiming that KBSC should give her kind of sp uh, special treatment, a bit preferential treatment, KBSC said for what? Why would I give you preferential treatment? Hmm? Why would I do that? And Igbi said, because she is pregnant. And that was how the Kabesi told her that she, she should stop deceiving herself. That she said it before, and Kabesi did not say anything about it. Maybe because Kabesi uh, was thinking that she is joking. But right now, it is obvious that she is serious about it. That is it from water that she got that pregnancy or what? Because she he can remember the last time the met, you know, and again, they said ever since then, KBS uh, Igbi have been trying to uh, come to the KBSC's chamber so that they would do Krewa, but they say KBSC have been avoid avoiding her at all costs. That KBSC have done everything within his power to see that they did not, you know, do it. Maybe that was what she was planning that after doing it with KBAC. Then the next thing is that she will come and say, hey, don't you remember that day, that day? But KBAC was able to avoid that kind of story. From what we are hearing, you know, if this information is true, because the way I'm seeing KBAC and the Igbi, uh, if you ask me, I will say, after all the outings outside, that they will also go inside outing. <laughs> that is what I think, but sometimes things are not the way we think it, that because... Uh, time without number, we have been hearing that these people come outside here to make people believe that they are okay inside. But right inside, it is not as beautiful as they present it outside, you know? So, and again, uh, KBS have told other Oloris that henceforth, there will be no Kiriwa. Maybe that is the instruction from Iyanifa. Because KBC have been pleading with Yanifa not to come and separate Queen Naomi from him. That he is ready to do anything Yanifa tells him to do right now just to see if Yanifa will be able to fix his marriage with Queen Naomi. Yanifa would have helped him do it before. 
had he been, he listened. Because if you remember that period that Yanifa was in the palace, they said Yanifa told him that first and foremost, you have to stop doing Krewa with these people so that whatever we are doing, it will be working. And whatever they are sending, it will not be getting to you. Because as long as they come close to you, they touch you, they do this, they do that, you can never escape it. So now that she, uh, he is telling them that there will be no Krewa, they said the wives are crying, you know. They are crying big time, especially all over the TikTok. Who <laughs> they say Kabiesi, uh, uh, she when well, I say she is the the right hand handbag of Kabiesi in bed this time, from what we are hearing, because we all know that Dr. Elizabeth has been out of the country for some time now. So it has been uh Olori TikTok, you know, and uh, sometimes Olori Olori two face. But they say Olori two face. A KBS you know the two call her. That the main person will be say if KBS is serious about this no krewa, that it is going to get to her so badly happens to be Olori TikTok. And I was like, is she not still breastfeeding? Hmm? Eh, let her focus on breastfeeding her babies now. If this information is true, they say it means telling KBS, KBS, oh, see, let me tell you. As long as all of the TikTok have our babies, you accepted it. You accepted them. Uh, Olori Kalabash did her own. You accepted them. You see my own, you are going to accept my own. If you want to reject, you better start rejecting all of them. <laughs> my people, what does she ever end though? These people, eh, they no go buy KBS. But if you ask me, I will say that KBS is just doing this no krewa thing, just to see if uh, he will please Queen Naomi. What if Queen Naomi agrees to come back and he starts from where he stopped? Hmm? Because to me, that is what it's going to look like. Maybe he will say, no, 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 no. Maybe Iyanifa will help him and uh, reconcile him with Queen Naomi and everything. At the end of the day, he will still go back to them. As long as they still remain his wife, KBSC will still go back to them. Forget all of this... Uh, no conjugal duties, no krewa, no this, no that. It's just for the meantime. When he gets what he wants, he will return back to that. Because from the look of things, KBAC, they cannot hold him by his word. Yes, he's not that kind of king who will tell you, hold me by my word. Because everything she has said to Kaokwe Naomi, I don't think uh, he kept them. Mm -hmm. So that is why I said he is not that kind of a king. Where you, When you say... Eh, because you said this, you are going to do this. Mm -mm. If you want to be with him, just be there because you want to be there. And not because of what he said to you. Because if you are there because of what he will say to you, what he said to you, he will fail you time without number. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I wasn't there, and I hear, I hear. And as I hear, and I saw, I share. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye. See you.